Hey, it's Diego with Shoot Develop, and today I am back talking about something that's really fun and I think you should try out for yourself. The 3DS is one of my favorite handhelds made by Nintendo, but as a photographer, the 3DS can be used to make stereoscopic images. And today I'm going to talk about how to get the images off of this straight to your phone and use an app to turn them into images like this. Although my 3DS is modded, it does not require any modding. These are the things that you'll need to get this going. Obviously you'll need a 3DS. The SD card included, most systems have an SD card. Even the new ones have it internally, but this one is on the side. This is the 3DS XL. And you'll need one of these, which is an SD card to lightning or whatever phone that you have, so you can connect it to your phone. I am doing this on iOS. I have an iPhone, but I'm not sure on Android. But if anybody knows in the comments, tap in below. How does this work? The 3DS has two lenses on top of the camera here, which takes two separate images at the exact same time. Meaning it's one coming from one angle, one coming from the other angle, and it has a built-in accelerometer meaning when you tilt and move it around it gives you a different outlook so it looks like it's three-dimensional a lot of people get really nauseated me included when you do this a lot or you're playing a game and it has this a lot and so I usually turn it off because I can only deal with it so much and so I never really thought until now to put these images to use like this as a serious photography tool not serious more fun I took the camera to Policon, which was in New York for the first time. And on top of my instant camera and film cameras, I also brought my 3DS because I thought it'd be something fun, something cool that's different that other people can use and enjoy. We go after taking an image, we'll get something like this. But natively on the 3DS, you can adjust the image with this little toggle so it's perfectly in focus. I have a video on my channel talking about how to take better stereoscopic images. This is really key because if you're using like an Ashika N8000 or a Nameslo 3D, the rules still apply. You want to get like a nice depth of field. You want to get some nice separation from the image. You want to avoid plain backgrounds on something in the foreground and background to get that really sweet depth. So the easy part is shooting. Just go have fun, take pictures of your friends. Easy. There's an option on the 3DS itself to transfer all the images from the internal memory to the SD card, which you want to do. The bullets just a few toggles away. I'll even put a little clip here so you can see how to do it. You want to get your SD card like so, and then put it to your adapter for your phone. When you pull up these files, it's going to show up as two different files. And I used to think it was, oh, this is the left and this is the right, but it actually does it as a JPEG and an MPO file. MPO is a way to have both images all on one file, which is not the standard for most stereographic images, but the way Nintendo went about it. You download the app, you load the files. Once you're in the app, you want to go ahead and click on view, scroll down to you find your images, and then it'll say MPO. And that is both the left and the right channels from the lenses. And you just want to adjust to make sure everything's cool. Toggle down to wiggle gram. You can do it in stereo. You can do it for the Google cardboard viewer. There's like an insane amount of options that you can do, but the fact that it reads MPO files makes it really easy to go from your 3DS straight to your phone to make GIFs. iOS does native GIFs, but let's say you wanted to post it to like Instagram, a really quick, easy runaround is you get a background color or what you want the background to be and go to like Instagram stories and then copy it from your phone and then paste it and then boom, go to the top right corner, hit save, you'll get a five second video of the animation. There's obviously other ways that you can convert a GIF to a video, but I kind of like that way because you don't have to download anything else. I feel like just one download's enough. I really hope with this video that people use the 3DS as a fun tool. I'm not gonna lie, people were excited to see me use this at Policon. Like, it's not a big serious tool. You're not wondering where is this gonna go to. You know, it's like fun and lighthearted. And I'd hope with this video to make it more accessible for people to get out there and just have fun. That's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. It's really straightforward. This video is not sponsored by the app or Nintendo or anybody. But if you found this kind of information interesting, make sure to subscribe. I'm always breaking down fun processes so people have the tools to have fun themselves. That's pretty much it. Keep shooting film. Have fun with your cameras. Take care. Peace.